do, 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 do. I went to Joe Fest this year. I took the boys with me. Oh man, my lips look really red in that photo. We saw a bunch of stuff. We're gonna talk about some of the stuff we saw in this video. See these pictures here. Also, we're gonna talk about all the generous things that people gave us on top of our pile of loot we hauled back. All right, let's stop screwing around, wasting time. Let's go talk about some toys, come on. Nice people giving gifts. Let's start with people's generosity here. These Transformers were from Bjorn Jornsson. Look at these cool guys. Oh man, we haven't even, <laughs> we haven't even had the chance to play with these yet. They're so fun, they're so cool. There's these blind box Transformers. Oh man, this one, this is mine now. Uh, sorry, Finn. Finn, you can have this guy, he's pretty cool. Mm, nope, I'm gonna, gonna keep him too. So, yeah, one of the Decepticon. Hmm. Hmm. Finn, I don't know where your Transformers went to. Anyways, Bjorn is super generous. He brought and gave us all these, like, just a crazy amount. Finn really, Finn already has this guy, I think, but uh, he's like, I don't care, I'll take another one. These are, these are great, so I really appreciate that. We're gonna have a lot of fun with these. <laughs> like I said, we haven't gotten done with, we haven't caught up after Joe Fest here. So, uh, next was from Wilhelm. Um, this was cool. It was like day one. We're out by the pool and he goes, here you go. Here's a collector's case for a 19th. And I definitely use these to actually store my Joy Toy figures that I bought oh, over here off camera. <clears throat> and this is really fun. It's a 1 18th carrier case here. Uh, it's got some dividers in there and some foam inserts. So you can lay your other, let's see how many. There you go. Yeah. So one foam insert. You put another little dude in there too. So this is really fun. This actually came really useful. Uh, and this is nice. And I'm going to figure out which of my characters, which of my figures I'm actually going to use this to keep them. So thank you very much. I just noticed there's a bunch of background noise in this video. And it's because we got these two cats and they're running around like maniacs in my uh, toy room here. So I need to get some kitten mittens. It wasn't done. At the uh, night market, he had a bunch of these cool, you know, some old 90s figures still carded. And he saw my boys like, go ahead and pick out one. I was like, man, you, you can't be serious. Like, no way, we can't accept this. But of course, you know, my sons just dove right in. And the dude next to us, Kent, I, I can't remember his store name. Uh, he was just selling a really great G.I. Joe collection, complete vehicles. He gave each of my sons a box of these mini made G.I. Joes here, which are really cool. They're big into Legos and Roblox and Minecraft. So this, you know, this scratches me. This thing is pretty cool there. Delta 17. Pausing on the toys that we got to talk about people and toys we saw. Like Ken from Toy Connections and Steve Delta 17. And these guys went huge this year. Tons of figures for sale, comic books, and a new reveal. The Hail Storm! This dual chain gun wielding tank robot comes in two colors death gray and lovely blue. Go to Delta 17's IG page for more details on its release. And these six inch sci fi figures, Space Zombies from Mars, definitely piqued my interest. Toys unpaused. Bjorn also brought some barrels with him in order to provide for the game. So that was really neat. They're just bottle caps and you stack them here and you can put figures behind them. That was really cool of them. You put them on the table, I actually got to use them in play. So that was neat. Whether you meant to <laughs> leave them behind or not, thanks, they're mine now. Don't forget to like. You wanna talk about these, don't you? But I'm gonna talk about these instead. So this is from uh, White Vegeta. We saw him there last year and he gave us this neat case. It's foam, it's hand painted, it's really cool. And then these vials, which are classified scale size, but they're really just level bubbles. But this is genius for some sort of evil concoction for Dr. Mindbender. But this is just really well done quality. You can see the little nails to keep the, the boards together, textured. Um, it's got an inset to help it stay in place. This was cool. And then he also gave this pen, which he was like, oh, you can take this gem off. And be for Zartan. A gem of that size answers all my questions. That's right, but also all these little some sort of materials. But I didn't use that. I actually walked around with this and made people sign my book. Okay, now I, I know you're dying to talk about this. Let's go ahead and talk about the Kinder Eggs. So, <laughs> oh, there's a. There's mole man pieces in here. But no, these were gifted by Lockdown Productions, Nassau Station. He brought these. I was like, what? That's really cool. And again, I got these gifts for you. And then he's got a Doctor Who with, uh, <laughs> with the box there. Like, this is really cool. It's supposed to make noises too. So I'm going to find some batteries. Oh, yeah, I'm going to find some batteries for it. But, uh, but that's really fun. That's really cool. And then he also gave my boys 
these freaking joy toy tyrants these are amazing like these are really cool so all this stuff like this was he just and some chocolates of course and a scotch soda which we drank so i mean like it was uh it was crazy to be able to people walk up to us and just like give us things like was not expecting that and was not prepared to repay that generosity and i am a douche and then this was too big to show in the original frame but this was from plastic fantastic and it's a he 3d printed this it's got a belt toggled just like your classic uh one quarter o-ring style ones and um it's a classified figure in there so that was pretty nice. I also got this this guy from the night market, which was really cool because I really wanted them. I'll drop this little accessory in there. That was really fun. So one for us and one for Joe. So those are the gifts, but uh, what do you guys want to talk about next? You probably want to talk about this, right? Okay, let's talk about these dinos. Night market. I get to run into a whole mess of people like Defiant Outer Rim Station here and Jeremy Linquist from Friendly Frugal Finder Figures Frothy Froth Bandit. I hate that name. And then you have a top world stuff too. No, not <laughs> Thunder Lizards. For my boys, the best deal of the show was this bucket of dinos they found at the night market for 10 bucks. They're like, Dad, dinosaurs, dinosaurs. Like, no, man, you already got some beast in the book. You're good. But uh, they're like, Dad, it's all these for 10 bucks. I'm like, I, I don't want to keep indulging them, like getting them more and more stuff. But uh, 10 bucks is like, oh, I got it. All right, fine, man. So here we are, bucket of dinosaurs, 10 bucks, and they're super fun. Like they went to the hotel room that night and we're busting them out. In fact, each night they were playing with these. So this was a great, a great find. More fossil fuels. I'll admit, <clears throat> I slept in these. They were kind of pricey, and you know, dinosaurs, they look really pretty, but how fun are they? How. What are you gonna be? Perfect! That's right! Playable. They're extremely playable. They're really fun. They're crazy articulate. They have tons of motion in them. They can move all. I'm trying to keep this from being a review video because I think, I think we're gonna. I think we're just gonna go on a big old diatribe about how cool these things are, but these little baby babies, these little babies, and yes, they all move. Wire tails can bend all over the place. Uh, interchangeable feet for different claws. See yeah, how the tail pops out. This was Tristan's. This was his one holdout for the entire show. He was just waiting to find that perfect thing. And I was like, what are you looking for, man? Do you want a G.I. Joe? Do you want an A-Walk? Do you want the Legion? He's like, I don't know, Dad. I, I don't know. I'm not sure. I, I want it to be good. And then I uh, got up from the booth and left my children like a good adult, unsupervised, to go pee. And I saw Creative Beast Studio. I was like, oh my God, dude, little baby, little leg moves here. Go. Anyways, I went to go pee and I saw Creative Beast Studio. And I was like, Tristan! And I ran over the table. I was like, come with me right now. Right now, son, get over here. And here they were. I was like, oh, and the guys were so cool. They were so nice nice to him they like came around the table and they like whatever he wanted to see you know he was he was really polite wasn't demanding whatever he wanted to see they brought over to him like hey go check this out and he was moving all around for him explaining the articulation the paint everything and they love that tristan was like oh it kind of looks like it's based off a condor it's like it is based off a condor he's like oh isn't that kind of like a utah raptor but you added this he's like that's exactly what we did so they loved having that conversation and feedback from him and then they let him hold all the prototypes and like they were really really nice dudes and like this this was t's uh this was t's big takeaway from the show and i honestly i went back and i got one and then we got the baby ones they're great and the little man little, little babies don's weird Speaking of giant lizards, we got to see the Savage Crucible guys in person. It's always great being able to talk to anybody from this team. They're all awesome, so it's always fun to be able to actually see them in person, too. And they went full out. They had Wave 2 on display, and of course, the Piranoids, which I'm really excited about because I don't like people in real life or figure form. So, more lizards and fish, please. Look, there's Creative Beast Studios being ridden on by a Savage Crucible, so yet one more reason to buy them. Quick pull break from the toys, and then back to the show. Forks and trucks. Speaking of meeting great people in real life, okay, wait, so I just want to pause. So Ewart is not shown here, and it's not because he's a cake sniffer. It's because he took a picture of me. Much like many people at the show who took pictures of me, I don't have those pictures to put into this little slideshow here. So uh, he's here in spirit and on his phone SD card. But enough of ghost people, let's talk about orcs with guns, which sounds like the campaign rally for anti-gun. Orcs with guns, they're coming for your babies. 
But actually, no, scratch that. At 9 minutes and 52 seconds of this video, I actually want to talk about this beautiful bad boy, which will be the first 112 vehicle that I buy. Look at this awesome monster. Again, I'm trying not to make this a review video, but it could, the doors all opened up, the back folded out, the interchangeable turrets. It was really cool. I love it. I'm excited about it. People ask me about Grails. No, this isn't a Grail one, but this is definitely one of the figures that when it sold out, I was like, oh man, I missed that guy. So I was happy to get him at the night market. And I got some Marvel Legends figures here. Part three. If you're still here, you're still watching, that means you're a sick, sick weirdo, but I love you. And if you made it this far, ew, my hands was like, Cat. That means you probably want some more. Good news, everybody! There's plenty to watch. I've got another third part coming up with a lot more content. Marauders, custom 3D printed stuff, just all sorts of goodness. I'm gonna spoil it. Uh, it's coming soon. Kish. Okay, hugs and kisses. I love you. Goodbye.